Have you ever heard a preaching that somebody says, I've never fallen in my life. I've never had problem. I've never known a better yesterday. Things are getting better for me every day. I've never known pain. I've never been to an hospital bed. That's very good. I love those messages. Those are good testimony. That's a testimony to the goodness of God. But there are some other people like us who have fallen many times. We have failed many times. We've been sick. But God has raised us up. The Bible says, rejoice not over me, O my enemies. When I fall, I'm going to rise again. Let me tell you, if you have fallen, or you have failed, or maybe you are sick, or you have an incurable disease, there are some people who have failed before, and yet they came back and succeeded. There are some people who have incurable diseases before, and yet God healed them, and they are completely healed. There are people like you who are in this same condition which you see yourself to be right now. But they have turned that situation around and they have changed their story to glory. This message this morning, God sent me to encourage you that your story is about to change to glory. It doesn't matter what you have gone through. Let me tell you the story of men in the Bible. There is no one single man who didn't have his own tough time, who didn't have his own time like you are having right now. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. This morning, God put a word in my mouth to encourage you, to, you know, motivate you and to inspire you so that you can, you know, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray for you this morning that God will give you direction. God will show you what to do. God will open your eyes and connect you with the right materials and the right people that that will help you to get out of this situation. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You see, when a man has not been there, he doesn't know what it feels. When you are in pain, somebody who has never been in pain cannot tell you, you know, what to do. But those who have been there, They know by experience what you are going through. They understand by experience. That's why the Bible says, talking about our Lord Jesus Christ, He said, we do not have an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity because he was tempted in all ways like we are, yet he did not sin. Jesus knows what it means to sin because he was tempted, but he did not sin. Let me tell you, have you fallen? Have you, do you have incurable disease? Are you going through pain? Have you, you know, bankrupt and there is no money to pay your children's school fees, even your house rent? You don't know where it's going to come from. Let me tell you, the Bible says, rejoice not over me, O my enemies. When I fall, I'm going to rise again. Somebody told me, it must be that God does not love me. Because I hear some people who have never you know, suffered in their lives. Everything they do is going well. Why is my own life like this? Let me tell you, God loves you as much as he loves those other people. When you study the scripture, you see every man that God used, that they had their own problem at one time or the other. Look at Abraham. Abraham, the father of faith, was denied of a child until he was 100 years. Can you imagine? You see, his first child came when he was almost 90. Hallelujah. You see, when he was about 100 years, the child of promise came. He had that problem. Have you, you know, do you know the stigma that comes with barrenness in the days of Abraham when he called himself the prince of God, meaning the father of many nations who does not have a child? Have you studied the stigma? What of Isaac? Isaac suffered delay in childbirth. What of Jacob? Jacob suffered so many things, suffered deception. He was deceived so many times. What of Joseph? Joseph was hated by his brethren. Joseph was sold to Egypt as a slave. And not only that, from slavery, he was sent into prison. Joseph suffered so many things. What of David? David suffered too much things from the hand of Saul 
And even when he became the king of Israel, he suffered from the hands of his own child. His own child overthrew him from the throne and became the king when David was not dead. David was going crying. There was one man called Shimei. He followed David, throwing stone at David and mesmerizing David. David went through problems. If you have problem, God has sent me to you this morning. Problem is not the end of life. We are the children of God. We are kind. We are the people that is not afraid of problem. We don't get cowed down by problem because James chapter 1 verse 2 says, Count it all joy when you have problem. Problem is not a problem. You see, it's not a big deal. You see, the real big deal is not that problem. The big deal is knowing what to do with that problem because everyone has problem. The only issue is people who fail don't know what to do with their problems. So this morning I pray God will give you wisdom and understanding to know what to do in the midst of that problem in order to get out of it. May God give you wisdom. May God give you power. In the name of Jesus, it is done. Thank you so much for listening to this. I'd like you to rebroadcast this, get somebody blessed. I know somebody will thank you for this. This is going to bless somebody. Thank you so much. This is uh, your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenoga, signing out. But before then, let me tell you, if you got this and you want this directly from me, I do send this every day you know, on WhatsApp, Facebook, and everywhere. So if you want this on WhatsApp in audio format, just save my number. My number is plus 2774. 0302381. Save that number right now. Go to your WhatsApp. Save it with I prevail. Just say add me. From tomorrow you will receive this. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. Be blessed and remain blessed.